Good day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your host, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I welcome you back to the Library of Runia, where today we have the last story of this, where we are more than likely going to see what the heck happened to, to Yan. So, without further ado, let us begin and see what they have to say. Yan. Ooh. L5, L5, one, two, three's fourth door. 14 steps to the right, 23 steps to the left. There's a staircase. How far down does this go? I mean, you're not walking very quickly, so... The sound is the sound. It's getting louder, and I see a dim light. Is it really okay to head inside? I guess I have no choice. Hello. What's this? What are these huge mach machinations supposed to be? Welcome. Welcome. It must have been exha an exhausting journey here. Come on in and make yourself at home. Who are you? I'm the weaver working here. Index weaver? So you're one of the people that make the prescripts. Oh yeah, look! In the back, weaving machines. Okay. It's so nice to have a guest after such a long time. Come on now, don't be shy and step right in. A weaver? Yep, that's what I am. You were invited by, a, the, pre by the prescript, right? How did you... The likes of you couldn't even dream of finding this place without the guidance of the prescript. It only invites people here on a very extraordinary occasion, so consider yourself honored. Does this place have something to do with the prescripts? Yes, oh yes, it has plenty to do with them. This is the birthplace of the prescripts. Prescripts are born? Your face tells me that you must have a lot you must have a lot you'd like to hear. And that's good. I was really bored too, actually. You should take a seat a seat hit first here. You should take a seat first. Here. This will be a long story. Here's your chair. Moriar. Sorry, sorry, I have no tea. It's hard to come by warm water down here. Oh, where are my matters? What's your name? Are you a proxy? Are you or a messenger? My name's Morai Morai. Uh, hold on. Could you please slow down? First off, I'm Jan. Jan Vismok. I'm a messenger. I only started working less than a month ago. Jan! So you were a messenger? Yes. I've been delivering prescripts full of absurd and brutal orders. Oh, I understand. Prescripts are cruel indeed, and naughty too, which gets some people killed. I had heard... I had to hear many resentful remarks and screams from the people who received their prescripts. Are you... are you the one who wrote these ridiculous prescripts? Yeesh! So scary! Don't scowl at me so dreadfully now. To answer your first question, no, I'm not responsible for the contents of the prescripts. My occupation is to manage these spinning... these spinning wheels and loom. Huh? Then how are the pre... then how are prescripts born? Shush! Can you hear this sound? Can you can you feel the tremor climbing up your feet and touching your bosom? I can feel a tiny quake, yes. But what about it? It's just sm a small vibration. Wrong! This isn't a simple tremor. You're feeling the heartbeat of the city. What? It vibrates at random frequencies. Those vibrations move this pendulum over here, and I spin the wheels to make threads. Oh, why hear me describe it when you can see it in action? Here, why don't you come closer and take a look? A new prescript is a, a prescript is about to be born. The pendulum swings above the threads I spin, inscribing meaning on them. Meaning? Are, 
All I see are random patterns. It could seem hazy at first. This is this is the language of the city, after all. You obviously don't recognize it. No, oh no! The language of the city? Were there more languages left to be found? Mmm, it's a different kind from the languages people use. Oh, it certainly is. The thing is, I have no idea what it means either. But we'll soon be able to find out. There are 57 spinning wheels here! The threads, sp the threads spun from those wheels are then put in this loom, and I modestly weave cloth from them. Just wait a moment now. Um. Okay. And there it is. Look, a prescript has been created. No way. To Che Hyon, when you see a person on a three-way intersection waving their hands seven times, follow them to their house. It really is a prescript. All right, no time to be spacing out. You should send this prescript to a messenger for, for delivery, right? Start with, start with this stamp and... Let's see, let's see. The code is N, N, next to L, N, si nine, two, uh, nine, N920, and one. There it is. Pipe number N90201 is right here. Now we roll up this prescript and put it in here. The prescript will travel along the pipe and all the way to the surface. That's what prescripts were? This can't be. Who made these who made the spinning wheels, the loom, and the pipes then? I have no clue! I was led here by a prescript too. Oh ho! My predecessor was waiting for me when I arrived, but they left after receiving a prescript one day. Have you never question have you never questioned the prescripts? Not really. I don't have much else to do anyway. Do you have any idea how many people died because of your stupidly, stupid, randomly generated commands? If this is where all the prescripts are made, then you could have at least tweaked them a little so they're not as cruel. I'm doing this because a prescript ordered me to create and send prescripts down here, though. If I broke this prescript, the prescripts will get me killed. What are you talking about? You're the one in charge of sending out prescripts. What if there is a, what if there's another weaver like me somewhere in another nest? You don't possibly think that I'm the only one mailing all these prescripts for the city, do you? Someone has to be making the contents of the prescripts, but who could it be? In my opinion, that would be the city itself. The pendulum inscribing patterns on the threads swing swings according to the city's motions, like I said before. Footsteps of pedestrians walking around on the surface, quakes coming from construction sites, impacts created from some clumsy person falling on the floor, echoes of people's screams. Every little event happening in the city becomes a vibration that moves the pendulum. Even the sound of us talking. At the end of the day, us city folk can never be free from the city. This is so many different levels of fucketry. This is the very definition of the term fucketry. What the Christ is going on? Every deed committed by the denizens of the city is ultimately the city's deed. We're representing its will in a sense. All the cruel things we've been commu committing were out of the city's volition? Why did the city have to be that way? Because people are. The city was built by people, and their cruel nature had to naturally reflect on their creation. We were born that way. This is a mess. People built the city, and now the city is controlling the people? Does the order really matter much? I think the point is this, that whatever we do, we're essentially part of the city. 
All you do is weave cloth in this per peaceful bunker. You probably have no idea what kind of brutal outcomes that piece of cloth you make can bring. That's why you can talk about this with such a carefree attitude. You're right. That's beyond me. I only do what I was ordered to do. Do I really have to care about that, though? According to the city's will, it's volution. The city's will matches the will of the people living in it. Did you know? There are beings born out of the city, city's folks wants. Humans want to walk the path that's given to them. They're afraid to face the consequences of their actions and take responsibility for them. They know that they will only end up going ro the wrong way if they try to make their own decisions. They'd rather rely on something and expect things from it rather than live a life of struggle. People without purpose in their lives, desiring and yearning for something to open up the way for them. Up, up a way for them. It could be someone wishing for equality amidst the savagery and voyeurism. Or it could be the vain hopes of those who want the city to thrive forevermore, providing, providing for all its inhabitants. That's how the gods were born. People needed them. They didn't pop into existence because someone told them to. They can't be made up by anyone, nor can they be oppressed. You have not seen Lobotomy Corporation. We've repressed gods on multiple occasions. White Knight. Apocalypse Bird. I mean, I never did. I never got around to it. But people have repressed gods all the time. Or oppressed. Oppressed. Whatever. They still did that. You can't blame anyone for this. So many people, so many residents of the city want them. Thus, they're the fear that will draw them. Th thus, they're the fear that will draw them. The temptation of happiness. The voices and wishes of all people. Are you starting to get why the priest scripts came into existence? You've lost your mind. You have just. <laughs> I'm. I know that face. You have just gone insane. Like, everything you've lived for is pointless. <laughs> yeah. Right. It wasn't any- it wasn't my fault. People weren't doing inhumane things because I delivered prescripts to them. Those horrible things were meant to happen anyway. You're right. I think I see it now. It's the city. It's because people have always been cruel. Humans are born that way, and they have desperate wishes. It doesn't matter if they were pure wishes welled up from innocent hearts, or ambitions born from greed. This is the result of what everyone wished for. Killing people with my own hands, or taking away invaluable things from others. Shuddering in guilt, listening to those horrid screams while I tried my best to seem unfazed. They were all useless feelings, eating away at my heart. Exactly. I'm just a tiny bit of the world. I can never change the wishes of all people. There's no way I can deny this flow, defy this flow. What I did was part of the city. The will of the city. Forging prescripts out of spite and delivering them could be traced to the city's volition, not my free will. But that equates to my own volition at, in the end. The city and I, and every person in this city, we're one and the same. Do you think so too? Do you think so too? What the bloody Christ did you turn into? You just got distorted to all hell. And to be fair, it looks goddamn awesome. That looks awesome! Moria, the city must know where I should go next. Huh? Me? Oh, don't you worry. Just a moment, please. Alright, here. It's an invitation to the library. Ju prepared just for you. I don't know what that says. I don't think everything was fully translated. As the city wills it. What was he talking to? Or was he talking to me all along? Well, regardless. Back to my post. Gotta keep my position. Color me speechless. 
So that's what the prescripts were, really were. Beings akin to the akin to gods of the city. I don't think I've heard or read any mention of such things. It does seem like there were some beings out there that that fit the description the Weaver person gave. I think I've seen something similar a few times, though I don't know if it if that actually was one. Not sure if the, if being is the right word for them, to be honest. They're supposedly created because people wished for them to exist. I don't know a lot about them, to tell you the truth. According to her logic... Oh, it was a her! According to her logic, the prescripts would be one such being, created from the collective aspiration of those who want to be given a purpose in their aimless lives. So you've seen one yourself, Roland? Dunno. I might have, but I don't really know what I saw. Heck, I'm not even sure if I saw it at all. That doesn't count as seeing one, does it? It's just that my memory about the details of it is blurry, and I don't feel like remembering it for, for whatever reason. You don't think highly of them, huh? Seeing what one of those metaphorical gods made out of the people's wishes is... Seeing what one of those metaphorical gods made out of people's wishes is doing, I can't see them in a positive light. They seem to lead people to ruin in one way or another. Is it true? Is it truly for their sake? What do you think, Roland? Do the do you think those gods are leading the residents of the city to the correct paths or some claim? I won't lie at a glance. They do look like a weird cult giving their lives. To an object that swings on a whim and they're and they're giving arbitrary meanings to it like how it's the heartbeat of the city that's a consequentialist point of view consequentialist point of view shared by many relig other religions their methods may take their methods the methods they take may be a complete meth mess that being said i don't think that there's absolutely nothing good to say about them they fulfilled the people's wishes, anyhow. The results are another story. Even though the so-called gods bring fear and despair to people, they get to live a life that's richer and more human. The goal might have been forcibly handed to them, but it's still better than nothing. Well, you're free to think whatever you want in the end. You could feel the prescripts are horrible, or a justified necessity, or whatever. You're right. Anyhow, we should put our personal impression impressions aside and prepare to receive our guest. I'm counting on you as always. I really think I should give it be giving you a robotic voice, but... Receive a prescript and carry it out. Receive a prescript and carry it out. Receive... Greetings, dear guest. If I may, I am... Angela. Yes. It would seem that you know me well. The prescripts know everything. The prescripts represent the will of the city. They know everything that goes on in the city. They know what I am going to do. What you are going to do. All of it. I see. Don't you have any doubts about the prescripts? Of course not. The prescripts are the city's will. And the city's volition is my will. To deny the city's volition is to deny myself. By accepting that as truth, you're acknowledging that you have no free will of your own. Don't you feel that is unfair? We no longer have to be driven to despair by the repercussions of our choices. We don't have to be worn down from the pain, standing in the field of thorns on our two, two feet. By filling up the part that can't be achieved alone, our lives as humans can become much more lavish. I have the talent to walk the path in front of me, if nothing else. Even if I don't have much happiness, I know where to go in the immediate future, and that's enough for me. It's fortunate to hear that you are satisfied with it. May you find your book in this place. So we're fighting his hands individually. Huh. So you're pretty slow. And each of... The right hand is weaker than the left hand for some reason. Okay. Cannot be staggered. Cannot be defeated by depleting HP. Cannot act 
if HP is at 30 or lower at the start of the scene. Destroyed when that thing is no longer present. So we can kill them to basic reduce them to, to a reasonable HP degree to stop them acting. And I'm guessing you're going to heal or some them or something. If this character's HP is at 100... Three if this character is at 301 or higher... If this character's HP is at 301 or higher and the HP of all the hands are at 30 or lower, merge with the hands. If this character's HP falls to 300 or lower while merged with, with the hands, separate the hands at the end of the scene. When separating, purge all status ailments and fully recover stagger resist. If the character is merged with the hands or if the character's HP is at... 300 or lower, use a mass attack at regular intervals. Mass attack is also used if the act goes on for a large number of scenes. I'm guessing the mass attack seems like an insta-kill thing then. So, that means I need to do 200 HP damage to you before I basically do anything to the hands. Is that what I'm getting from this? I get one flaw. I'm going to make it to the floor that gets all of the protection. Well, she said, um, let's put you to work. Okay. It's all oh, you say stuff. To when your to when your eyes meet another person's, nod at them. To bake Delacroix while the hour hand rests between seven and eight, and eat it while watching a movie. To dial any number, give a New Year's greeting and words of blessing to whoever receives the call. To fold 39 paper cranes and throw them from the rooftop. To race against residents that live in the same building as you to District 7. Measure the distance every 23 minutes and disqualify the one farthest away from the destination. Alright. Two, on the morning after receiving the prescript, drink three cups of water as soon as you get up. To within three days, ac knit a scarf with a butterfly pattern. Ha! Huh. To wear light green clothing and take ten steps in a triangle-shaped alley. To at work, cut off- cut the ear of the first person to fumigate against you. To consume eight crabs stored at, at room temperature and ripe persimmon at once. That's a lot of crabs. Wait, that's just a random thing again. With the 38 foot. Do you actually just say random things? To pet quadrupedal animals five times. To at the railing on the roof of a building, shout out the name of the person you dislike, then jump off. The height of the building does not matter. Okay. Ha. Huh. So, what are you doing then? Protect. Only used when there's a hand with 31 or more HP at the start at, at only used when there's a hand with 30 more or HP at the start. Aha! The target and any dice clashing with them are not influenced by power gain or loss this scene. Only use if target is a hand, give it plus two strength. Ha! Huh. So you have plus four strength this turn. Uh, or plus two strength this turn. And you've got plus two protection, right? Yes. So logic says I should just 
go ahead and try to murder that one. You got screwed for cards, so you can concentration. I love how our speed got absolutely fucked this turn. As well. Right. So we need to kill the hands. Very clearly. Wow, I'm impressed we managed to do that. And that, honestly. Well done. Well done. Wow. Oh my gosh, you're doing amazing. Um... Um, okay, I spoke too soon. So you've got two paralysis on you this time. Why are you getting- why are you getting so much goddamn speed? I'm sorry, inflict erosion, as in the thing you get from the, the magical girl. That erosion. The target and any clash clash it, and any dice clashing with them are not inflicted, affected by power this scene. That means whoever you, because you're being affected by that, you should be affected in dueling with this person. Because that means you get all of the, the special stuff. Okay. I'm probably gonna have to do this fight again, because I got kind of screwed thanks to speed bullcrap, you know? So... Let's just see how this goes. Yep, I know. Nice. Awesome. Amazing. Unfortunate. Okay, you avoided one of them. I expected that. I expected that. I didn't expect that! I'm sorry, how did you get plus two strength? I'm sorry, is your- is your thing worded wrong? Um, do I want heart or courage to start with? I'm leaning towards courage. Yeah, let's get courage to start off with, actually. This time you're giving the protection and the strength to the same- to the same hand. Okay. Why have I got... Why are they rolling fucking sevens? Out of interest. I am just so glad you've got four protection at the moment because you are going to take so much damage. To return to your home this instant, you may leave once a dog barks in front of your house one time. Let's see how this ends up going. Yeah, I know. Fuck you. Yes. Okay, that'll do. Nice. Nice. Who cares? Ow! I just realized you can bleed a metal hand. Okay. Now you can get your heart, she said. How many attacks are on him? Oh, look, a seven! I'm gonna fucking restart this at, at, at this rate because I'm getting fed up with these sevens! These sevens are bloody ridiculous. They can low lower than a seven, you know! No, I'm restarting this. I'm trying someone else this time. Yeah! That's the kind of luck I expect to see. Thank you. So. Okay, guys. Let's see how this ends up working, okay? I've got high hopes that Gabara can make this work. You're fucking kidding me with that stupid roll. Well done with those dodges! It's gonna bleed quite nicely next turn. Okay. 
Okay. This round will not go as well as the last one. I can almost guarantee that. Baron is probably going to take quite a bit of damage this turn, which I'm sure he doesn't want to do. In fact, Baron, I think you're better off trying to counter that. But it is all piercing. Oh, fuck. All of this is piercing. Well, Baron's in a bad situation, considering it's all piercing, but let's give it a go and have faith all the same. Well, that was unexpected. Well done. Nice. Well done, Baron! Okay. That hand is almost dead. Let's take the instincts and give it to Baron. This thing should definitely fall below, what am I call it, 30 HP by the end of this particular round. One way or another. Then we just need to work on that one. Okay, go. Nice shot. You got tiny back, which happens, it's fine. That's unfortunate. I'd hoped you'd do better than that. Yeah, that's more the reason why I wasn't scared about what's happening, because of Baron. Right, you're on zero HP now, meaning you can't act. Baron can get his vengeance so he can start becoming a murder bot. This thing is definitely going to fail by, by the end of this chap. Let's see, you've got plus 8 strength, effectively, for attacking with this attack. What does that mean? 8 means 14 to 17, which means you've got a solid... No, wait, no you don't, because it gets plus 2 strength. Then again, it is also the last dice, so... And it says destroy target snake's dice. So, there's not really that much harm in trying it. Really. Okay, guys. Go. Nice. Very nice! Good Baron. Good nice Baron. Unfortunate Baron. But it means you get to strength next turn because you got hit. So now what do I get? Now I get absorption for him. Ooh, but which of these? Uh I think Mimicry, just for healing. Endure. Well, I don't know how well you're going to endure, but I don't think it's the best you're going to do it in the best shape or form. Should I castigation you? I'm very tempted. I don't think it'd be the worst. Okay, guys. Attack him. Can't wait to see why. What's going to happen next turn, given everything? Well, it's got two paralysis on it, so that should help either way. Mass attack, summation, inflict two erosion. 
Well, I can just rather torment that. Nice and easy. You've got one paralysis on you, so that 25 is lowered to 22. But that doesn't mean my minimum, my maximum is increased. So I really think Gabara is just better off taking it. You know? That is an awful lot of damage and she's not resistant to it at the moment. I wonder if I should take the chance with Gabara to try and actually block it. What is your maximum? Your maximum with that is 19. Its minimum is 18. Your maximum is 26 with minimum of 15. Yours is 21. Your maximum is 21, but your minimum is 15. No, I think I'll choose to let her take it. Two erosions, nothing. You're about to fall the three up below the 300 mark too, so. My god, you're taking a ton of damage right now. Maybe I should have just fully attacked you. Jesus Christ, Baron! Alright. To, to neatly clip the nails of the 62nd person you come across. So, I'm guessing it's the same as it was before now, except now you're giving someone two strength. How many dice is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Gabara could potentially beat one of those, those special dice and finish this off. I also just realized I can get you to target the hands so they don't get the plus two strength. Oh! Typical. Why don't I realize these things? To be fair, you could also try and disposal him to see if it works. You know what? Gabara. I probably shouldn't, but I somewhat have full faith in you to be able to just, you know, Destroy it. Okay, guys. Good luck. Mostly, mostly Gabara. Really. Get a stupid number with that, okay? And then you will, we will instantly win the fight. Please. Really? Oh, come the fuck on! I mean, you still can't beat the hell out of Baron because it's Baron, but... And then castigation kind of helps as well. I can't believe we actually got one below the... 30 HP mark on the first turn. Oh my god, you're on 30 HP. Oh my god, can we just straight... Just straight attack Yan again this turn then? Combat start. Recover HP of, of all allies by 30. If target is a hand, recover its HP by 35. Otherwise, ta recover target's HP by 5. I mean, pal, I don't think it matters. Like, I am like... Destroying you this turn. You can't actually stop that. There is just too much sheer firepower behind me. I don't even need to do more than this. You're t you've got 21 HP. Even if that 30 counts towards you. 
It's not gonna help. I am sorry, Yan. You have failed. Die. It didn't count towards you either. Alright then. Just need Gabara. That's all you need. Just get Gabara. I got one of his books. Please tell me it's only a singular page. Could that person's death be what the prescripts intended? Meets me. The prescripts look like they see several steps ahead, so it might as well be. Though boy, what did that Yan guy endure and struggle so much for? He risked death forging prescripts, trying to express his free will. But that was ultimately part of the prescripts, the will of the city, as he put it. Yep. After the after all, this is the fate those prescripts led him to. You said earlier that there are good things to be said about them, Roland. That I did, because they're still part of the city. While I am not completely convinced, I can understand it somewhat. Life as a human, never wanting for anything. What is the reason gods of the city emerged? Why do people wish for them to exist, even as they suffer? I try to think of those people's perspectives, and the perspective of someone without a purpose to live. How, how I would act in their shoes. What's your conclusion? It couldn't be more obvious. I won't sit and wait for someone else to determine the meaning of my life like others, like the others. I'm different. I'll seek out a way on my own. It's much easier said than done. They don't truly realize what they've, what they're talking about until they're put into such a situation themselves. So they can't be viewed all that badly. Correct. I've decided against painting them in an excessively negative light. That still doesn't mean I fully understand them, however. Although I am curious about what you just mentioned as well. I must wonder what Yan's actions and the consequences to them were trying to show. Haven't got a clue, ma'am. Haven't got a clue. Who's to say what purpose there was to it in the first place? Those prescripts are... Sh those prescripts sure are an enigma. And this whole da this whole distortion business, it's scary how the process can be so simple. That determination, that demonstration made it clearer. It appears that the breakdown of a belief, one, f one firmly held, can serve as a catalyst for the distortion. Exactly, that's the scary part. It's what happens all the time in the city. Though someone did explain to me why people aren't distorting left and right pretty clearly. Either way, this bitter, this left a bitter taste in my mouth, just like that other time. Fuck, it is other pages. God damn it! There's even a page that doesn't have anything on it! Show me the luck of the gods! No, I got, I get the mass attack, but not the other thing, fine. Okay, what is this? Restore three light, draw one page. Alright, I'll give you credit. That's actually a pretty damn good card. On play, restore l three light. Re lose as much light next scene. Huh. Okay, that's a weird one. Mass attack. Can only be used by the special card. Blind faith, on use. Restore one light. All dice on this page lose two power. So it's actually four to seven and f five, four to eight. But it technically costs two instead of three. And then if you combine that with the, uh, the big eyes effect, it becomes a lot better. Hmm, okay. Sword of Loition. The cost of this, this page equals the user's max light. On use, all dice on this page gain power equal to the... Equal to emotion level. Restore all light. So you can only use it while you're on full light, but it doesn't cost any light to use, basically. Okay. They've certainly added some weird books pages, that's for sure. Well, everyone, this is where I'm. This is a pl good place to leave the episode today. Join me all again next week so we can see what's going to happen next. 
So everyone, I'm afraid that until then it looks like I'm all at a time. I've been your host, the Power of Fox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet who will stop eventually learn to stop repeating himself on these outros. And I hope to see you all again next time. But I'm afraid that until then, it is time for me to bid the all farewell, good day, and finally, good night.